a cancer journey sharing in the face of recurrence by Professor Letty Kwan, Breast Cancer Year 6. Sharing in December 2020 when she had a recurrence. Hello, Dr. Ray. I would like to share how I coped with my recurrence. It was November 9, 14, 2014, when you diagnosed me that I have a book or it has to be removed. It was a book I kept for more than 25 years. And then you told me, if you don't have that removed, it will grow and grow, it will burst at mabaho. Yun ang natato at natakot ako. So I had it. So November 18, 2014, you made a modified radical mastectomy of my left breast. Then you gave me tamoxifen and I took it for three months. But I felt so well. I was working as professor emeritus of UP. I could do all my work. I was traveling, giving talks. And then it was September 27, 2020, when I had this lymph edema. My left arm was getting bigger and swollen, so I called you up. And we had on the line consultation. And you told me, you better observe that and try to see what can be done because it might be an erosion of post mastectomy. Then, December 4, I experienced a difficulty of bracing my left arm and I noticed there was a muscle lump on my left clavicle. So, Faith, who is our nurse in the community, took pictures and said to you, and then she measured, and my left arm was getting bigger, and you asked for contrast, a CT scan of the chest. So we had it, and then after that, the results showed there were lumps, there were LCs, and you told me frankly, well, Italeti, bad news, it's a very bad prognosis, it's a recurrence. Well, at 84, let major take its place. Because if you go into surgery, go into chemotherapy, radiation, what benefit will it give you? Maybe 5 to 10 percent. And 90 percent will go to the hospital and to the doctor. And what for? Uh, you have lived a very full life at 84. So, with that in my mind, with the very good words of Dr. Ray, I was happy to decide no intervention, no treatment, no chemotherapy. What for? You have enjoyed 84 years old, they have accomplished. And I remember you really were only grade 5 in Xavier School, but look at you know, a top caliber surgeon of cancer. Nobody can beat you. So, it's really one of my accomplishments, my joy, that it gives me a very good courage to accept whatever is the outcome of recurrence. Maybe you are also a, a precious stone in my, in my life that gave me comfort and gave me a lot of courage. So what did I do? I prayed a lot. I have a community. I have many friends. I continue having friends. And I continue communicating. And no worry because everything in the plan. Then you gave me a prayer of patient, which faithfully I pray morning and evening. It helped me a lot. You must have been inspired by the Holy Spirit to compose that prayer. And I would like everybody to do the same. Pray. God is good. God is always at our side. So, my days are happy. I think faith can testify that I go on with my life, happy to give, and just waiting for what that will become. I pray that there will be no much, not much suffering, and not much uh, pain, and but if it will that comes, then I take it as a plan of God according to your prayer. So, how do you cope? First, you must be ready to accept God is good. Then, accept that can happen to you as a trial, a challenge, part of the plan of God. Accept it humbly. And believe me, you are happy. You are also supported by people. I have a very good doctor, Dr. Ray. I have a very good community in Notre Dame to be. I have a very good family. I have a very good friend, Faith, and many others. 
So what else do I choose? What else do I ask for? I'm very happy. So when you have the courage, just think of God and all the things that have been given to you. For me, there is no worry. There is no fear because God is always at our side. I'm busy. I'm very happy to be also busy with anything. What I do, I read a lot. I do make rosaries. I do whatever. I clean. I keep my room very clean, and that makes me happy already. And I groom myself. I eat well. I sleep well. Most of all, I pray much. Because of that, I think recurrence is welcome. Thank you, and Merry Christmas to everybody. Sharing in December 2021, when her recurrence responded to tamoxifen. Good morning, Dr. Rehuzon and all the Crusades and all people who are so grateful to be, uh, to be still alive. Since last year, we saw each other. God has been blessing us with so much graces and grace. Grace and blessings that we cannot count. Thank you very much, Dr. Ray, and my colleagues, and my co-survivors. We are still alive. Since then, I have been very grateful to God, to thank God, to do good, to sleep well, to eat well, and to be happy. There is nothing better than prayer. When you pray much, and when you give much love to others, then you know you feel better. Thank you very much. I have been very well. I can sleep well, I can eat well, and I can love well. I think th we thank you this to Dr. Horizo who kept me very well. And he's very good. He posts me, he keeps me up, he texts me to find out how I am. I think this is a very caring, grateful doctor that we should have. It is a grace of God, a blessing we should all have. And like you, colleagues, all survivors, nothing else to do but to love God, to serve God, and to be thankful. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas with all the heart, and may the child Jesus take our hearts. And may we live happily according to His will, according to His plan. This we ask you, Lord, through Christ our Lord. 